Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie, and I want to show you how you can remove some GitLab branches that you don't want hanging around anymore. So here's my GitLab repo, and as you can see, I've got three branches, new branch, bug fix, and main. And let's just say I wanted to get rid of this bug fix branch. How could I do it? Well, the easiest way is just to click that little garbage can there, and that will delete the GitLab branch. Now, hold on just a second. I've just opened up a git bash shell in my local file system. And if I say git branch dash a, you notice that on my local file system, I got a reference to bug fix as well. So I can go over here and delete bug fix. I'm going to say yes, delete that branch. It's gone. It's definitely gone. But if I do git branch a over here, I've still got that new branch. And I've still got a remote reference to that new branch as well, or sorry, not the new branch, but the bug fix. Um, and actually I'm on the bug fix branch. So that's fine, you've deleted it over here. What do you have to do to delete it over here? Well, here's what you have to do. You do a git checkout and go back to your main or master branch. So now I'm on the main branch, I'm not on bug fix anymore. And then what you do is you do a little bit of a fetch and you call the prune command as well. So you do git fetch prune. Okay, so I'm going to do git fetch prune. And now you're going to see that it's actually deleted that. If I could do git branch dash a, you'll see that the bug fix branch no longer has a remote reference to it. I've still got it locally, but I no longer have that remote reference. And I'll just show you, it's in the red there, head main new branch. If I scroll up a little bit, you see head main new branch and bug fix. So that's called the remote tracking branch. Now, of course, I've still got this bug fix branch locally. It's not up here on the server, but it's still here locally. If I really want to get rid of it, I can do git branch dash D and then say bug fix. And now that bug fix branch is gone. And there you go. That is the easiest way to delete branches. Now, I will say there is actually a way that you can force that branch to be deleted from the command line. And so notice we've got the new branch up here. I'm going to force a delete of the new branch from the command line. So just like we deleted the bug fix, I'll delete the new branch. And that's just a matter of saying git push origin dash dash delete and then saying new branch and this will now remove that git branch from GitLab. It goes through, it's deleted and watch what happens. Watch what happens if I do a refresh. That GitLab branch is removed. Now at the same time if I do a git branch dash a the remote tracking branch has been removed but the local branch itself still exists. So if I want to get rid of that git branch dash d, new branch, git branch dash d, new branch, and then it's not fully merged, so just do a force, that's the dash d, and that deletes it totally. And there you go. That's how you now not only delete the branch from the remote GitLab repository, but completely delete it from your local machine as well. And there you go. That's how you remove GitLab branches, both locally and from that remote server. Now, if you enjoyed that tutorial, why don't you head over to theserverside.com. We've got lots of great tutorials on Git, GitLab, DevOps, Bitbucket, enterprise software development, you name it. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can always follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ. And of course, please subscribe on the YouTube.